air traffic control in the U.S. is layered. At the airport, the journey begins in the airport traffic control tower. Towers use visual observation, short-range radar, and specialized systems to control planes on the ground and right around the airport. As your plane pushes back from the gate, a ground controller will direct you to the runway. Then a local controller takes over to manage takeoff and keep runways safe and organized. As your plane climbs, it's handed off to a nearby radar facility called a TRACON, short for Terminal Radar Approach Control. Within a TRACON, there's a team of air traffic controllers using radar and communication systems to manage planes approaches and descents in the vicinity of airports and up to an average of 10,000 feet high. Because they don't need to see the planes directly, thanks to radar and radios, a TRACON doesn't need to be located right at an airport, and in fact, could manage air traffic for several airports in the area. Each controller position has a specific role, often working in specialized sectors, but all positions within a TRACON work as a coordinated team. Once you're ready to cruise at high altitude, your flight is passed on to an air route traffic control center. These center controllers also use radar to guide your plane safely across states and time zones, one airspace segment at a time, with different controllers working different sectors. As you near your destination, your flight is handed back to a TRACON for descent, then the local controller for landing, and finally the ground controller to direct your plane to the gate. Working at each tower, TRACON, and center requires intensive, specialized training for that specific facility, and even sectors within a facility. So you can rest assured that from takeoff to touchdown, dozens of highly trained and specialized controllers work together to keep every phase of your flight safe and smooth. Mm -hmm.